Okay, um, so we're on session today for the 12th, <coughs> excuse me, of May. <coughs> um, so if, I, if you still have projects to turn in, please get those to me by next Thursday the 21st, and we'll be turning in our computer, um, our video game. Okay, so we'll do our, be doing our video game uh, machine. Have that turned in also for next Thursday the 21st. So hopefully that's going okay, the video machines. <clears throat> um, excuse me. If not, let me know. Let me know if you have questions. Let me get the chat open just so I can see that. Okay. So um, if anybody has questions about the video game or whatever, let me know and we will get those answered. So um, let's first by taking a quick look at some uh, some of your work. And I'm just going to go through it and talk about it. Um, and then I'm going to show you just a um, cool little thing. I know we're all having to wear masks now or face masks of some sort. So um, I found the site that I've been using for t-shirts. They're making these things called gators, which are these like kind of tubes that you can wear. Um, so I want to show you that because you can make your own because um, I know we're artistic and creative people. And we always want to make our own and make it customized. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. Um, it's a pretty quick process. And then you can um, sign up through them, get your own um, sample made. And again, you, can only, you only need to make one. Don't need to make a hundred or anything like that. So you can customize it. And then you can also customize them for friends or uh, make them for others and maybe make a few bucks off of this thing. So um, let's get going. Let me share my screen here. Okay, um, I think you guys can all see what we got going on here. There we go. So here, um, that is the gator. We're going to get to that. Um, we'll get that in a couple minutes, but let me first go through um, the project. Here we go. All right, so I'm just going to kind of quickly go through and just gonna chat about some of the things we see. All right, so we have an awesome logo here called Spoonful. Um, I think it works. So I think it works. It works pretty well. Obviously, it's okay. I need to. It, it, it's all about ice cream, and um, ice cream is good to have. So I think um, good mock-up here. I think the logo works. I'm liking how it's 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 cutting the edge out here, but we can obviously still read it. Nice use of the graphic spoon as the additional or second O and also working up the, the L for full. So um, I think a great, great job on that. Um, great job on the, the color palette. Um, I'm digging the gradient here on the cover um, and how that came out. Um, it's the strokes here and I, Maybe I'll play a little bit more with the hierarchy here. Um, you did a nice job here with the, the your name and, and the, the title and the phone number, but then it gets a little bit like, you know, just kind of the same. So I'm thinking um, potentially, I mean, the address is good. Again, and whether you're trying to figure out whether you're going to use the, the address or not, I think you could play with this a little bit, the, the address and also the um, web address and email, maybe a little bit um, bigger, maybe a little bolder, even potentially a different font, your choice. But I think a really, really nice job on the logo here. Um, it's tied together really well. Um, and I think it'll look great. I'd love to see it on like, you know, some cups for the, the, the ice cream store. Um, that great little milkshake cup, you could mock that up and that would look really, really sweet. Um, so good job on that. Great job on that. Let's move on. We're just gonna keep going through here. Art House, awesome. Who doesn't like art and who doesn't like a house? Um, okay, so where do I start? I, I love the color palette. I love the, the whimsy of the house and the rainbow and the heart, right? And, and what's awesome here is the, the heart. Um, it's kind of like a little whiff of smoke coming out of the chimney. So really cute, really good. Um, great little visuals going on here. Um, watch on the mock-ups. It looks like it, there was a little bit of black line. I don't think we need that. I'm not sure if it was from the file or was accident or not, but I think get rid of that black line. That's not definitely needed. Um, 
I pull your name down, Crystal, just a little bit. It's getting a little high to the top. And then watch this edge over here. Um, I think I would pull that in again. We don't want to get too, too close to the edge because um, potentially printing. And it also gives that feeling of things kind of starting to fall off the page. Um, likewise with the logo, I think we could pull it in just a tiny little bit there with that. Um, I'm going to suggest maybe a little bit thicker on the line strokes. Um, they're really, really nice, but just a little bit thicker on that. It's going to just give it a little bit more pop, but it's also going to allow that to stand out. Um, and then on the, the, the back side here with the heart in the white box, I don't know if we need the white box. Um, if you want to, if you're, and I understand because of the black stroke on the heart might get a little lost. I think maybe a secondary white stroke or maybe a potentially a white um, shadow might work on that um, to help that heart stand out. Um, so I think I would try that potentially here. It's just art house with the, the heart with a little bit of a white stroke, uh, maybe a shadow or potentially reversing this black stroke to a white stroke just for this case of reversal. Um, many times we'll do that with, with logos where when we have to put them on something dark, we have to do an opposite. We have to flip it. So, you know, imagine the, the art house logo um, going on something black. Would that work? Would you might need to change something out here if it was going to be on a black background? And that's possible. So um, think about that as you go. But I think really nice design, really fun. Um, again, really love the chimney and the heart. And I think it's just got a really nice feel to it. So awesome. Awesome on that. All right. Uh, Okay, Airbnb. Um, all right, um, logo is working nice. Uh, potentially watch the colors here. It's getting a little bit because it's kind of a muted of the same mute muted color of the same color. It's getting a tiny bit lost. Um, so potentially think about a, a a reverse or opposite color from the, the red orange, maybe go into a blue or something along that line or a green or, you know, um, <laughs> or flip flop and make the background here the lighter color and the, the A house kind of thing mark into a, the dark color. Um, on the, the back side, uh, I think we could probably, we can probably scale this all down. I mean, it's getting a little bit heavy the name and, and the phone number, or we want them, they're important obviously, but um, if, if you look at it, it's kind of overwhelming the card. So I think it would tone those down just a few point sizes. Um, and I think the, 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 uh, the mark, the Q card, um, Q code here can go smaller, so it doesn't have to take up as much. Um, and again, I, I, I am not sure about the, 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 the readers here as to how many people really, I mean, I know I have a reader on my phone that will read these, but I'm curious. And again, I would do some um, pretty extensive research, but it doesn't need to be formal research, but you could do it obviously online looking at how many people are using QR code readers, um, asking friends, um, just kind of figuring out how much you use it. Um, and, and if you do feel like it is still a useful thing to have, um, great, but just maybe scale it down a little bit here um, with that. And again, I think the um, email address, I would bring that back up to your contact information. So down here is the website, but there's a disconnect in here because of the uh, QR code. So if we had the QR code and then the, the website here, bringing up your web, your, your personal email address back up to the top area somehow, I think would be um, quite beneficial. All right, good job on that. And the dolls kill this, this is beautiful. Um, really, really nice work here on this. Um, I love the logo, right? How fun, whimsical and crazy is this? Um, incredible, really nice details in here with the stitching. And you've got really nice work with the shadows on the, the stitches of the string, um, the pins that are sticking in with the little pink blood dripping out there is really, really sweet. Um, so awesome job on that. Um, 
typography works really good um, on that. So beautifully, I wouldn't touch a thing on the logo. Just really, really, really nice. Um, I think on the back side of the card, the, the, the back here with the white, that's totally working. Again, I think you can pull that down a little bit. You've got a, a pretty big gap at the bottom where we can tighten it up a little bit. And that might allow you to get the logo a little bit larger on the back. And then um, on the front, um, I'm digging, I'm just not sure if we need the, the, the bar lines. I'm not sure if we need these black stroke lines. I think on the back it works, but I think on the front it might be just distracting. I think it's gonna probably be a little stronger if it's just the logo itself with the pink. <laughs> so try that there. Um, I think it's just really totally tight job. Really, 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 really nice job. Um, so um, yeah, take it, keep it, keep working into other items, you know, um, maybe a, a card for some um, you know, the clothing or pop it onto a t-shirt. Um, it's just a beautiful mark and just kind of, it's fun. Totally, totally fun. So digging it a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, uh, we've got Hugo here. Um, okay, so think about, you know, again, we, we've got the mark and I think that's working as, as itself, but we, the background's getting a little bit lost because of, let me zoom in a little bit more, um, the blue on the black, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see. Um, and as a personal logo, I think it, you know, I think it can definitely work. But again, we remember we're getting to that point that we got to do a lot of branding to get a mark or item to be representative of a company. So, you know, potentially your name down here, you know, or, you know, designs, whatever it is, graphic design, something along the bottom here to go in conjunction with your logo will definitely be beneficial. Um, I think you can definitely scale the back down here. It's just a little bit overwhelming, especially with the phone number. It's like, boom, there it is. So, um, be a little more subtle with it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being bold. Um, but again, we want to be, you know, kind of balance out that boldness with the subtlety of it. Oh, so um, I think it would scale most of these items down just a little bit. And then again, um, you have the, the email here, uh, but you're probably going to want, <coughs> excuse me, have a web address too. So if you are going to get into designing, you're going to want to, in addition to having the social media that, and again, it's great to have social media, but um, unless you're like Nike, I don't know what your Instagram is going to be. Okay, so um, you know if your Instagram is different, is it is it Hugo's, is it Mora, is it Graphic Designs, or I don't know, right? So you're going to have to tell us what you are on those social media so we can find you. Okay, all right. Um, we'll pull up the mock-up here. Okay, look at this. Records, records, music, and more music. Um, okay, record pressing, really, really cool. Hawaii, who wouldn't want to be in Hawaii doing music? Um, biggest thing is watch your, your colors here. We, we've got um, this background, and it's getting pretty dark here. The contrast is very, very high, and your blacks are getting lost within the blacks of the the image. So down here we have shadows from the rocks and um, I know it says dot com it looks like, but again, it's getting totally lost. And the same thing over here with your, <coughs> your web, <coughs> your, your email address. So um, play, watch you totally watch your colors. What that means is you probably want to go with a different color, probably for the text. What could you use? I don't know. Um, a white would probably stand out definitely. What might be too much, so you might want to tone it down. Maybe it's a off blue or blue white kind of over here from the album. I think that would work. Um, some things you might want to do also on the record album is um, maybe add a little bit. Maybe have the um, the the company, the pressing, the record company name inside here a little bit, kind of like we would find on you know the side A, side B of the the old introduction and potentially maybe even some strokes to kind of <clears throat> give that, that that record you know we all have that that those lines are in the records themselves um, the grooves 
that's the word. So maybe, you know, a few grooves or something like that in there, just a few, just to kind of be representative of, of a record, but nicely done. Um, again, once we, makes me want to go to Hawaii and make music, learn how to play the ukulele. All right, so Salonia, nice, right? Nice job of laying this all out. Um, obviously, if, if we gave this to the client, they could take this and, and get this produced. Um, we got the color, so they're gonna be able to, the client, it's, again, this is good good job for the client, so they can figure these things out for their websites. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, they're gonna come to you and do some more work, but you've got that nice nice work going on here. Um, the logo's good. It feels a little stretched out, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it got stretched, elongated. So um, look at that and see if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but it's just it's getting that stretched feel. So um, watch that. Um, and likewise with the text, it's feeling a little bit squished, a little like kind of in and out squished. So um, play with that and see. And again, watch on the card yourself, um, on the, the front here. Your logos are get your words are getting really close to the edge. So you're going to want to give it a little bit more breathing room on that, so it, we don't get potentially cut off. Um, on the back, um, we've got the owner name, which is good, but I, I would make it less. Okay, um, really, the star of the show is the burger, right? The Star Burgers is the the company. That's the burger, and the burger is the star. So. Um, Making sure on this, you can't get this much bigger here because that's as big as you're going to get on that card, but still making the emphasis over here. So that I think it would minimize um, your type, bring down a few point sizes. <coughs> um, again, so the, the focus is going over to the logo and the company itself, the Starburger. Okay. Nice stuff. Great job. Nice little job of laying it all out there. And then I think that's it. We're back to Spoonful, which we started with so um good job guys on those and we'll get those figured out and gridded up for you guys but excellent work um i want to show you let me get the website up here so this is what i was talking about with the the gate i'm going to just show you how to do this really really quick um so they're 12.95 each so you know not too bad um this kind of gives you some photos of it. What is it, a direct, <coughs> direct to garment print all over process. So they're actually printing uh, this mm. on the fabric and you can see they hem it up. So they're, they're actually um, printed here in uh, the US. Um, this, these should be in California. And um, there can be worded as the uh, neck piece or also can be flipped into like a hat piece. Um, they're saying right now up to three weeks. It was like two weeks, but I think they're becoming more and more popular. But um, again, something you can do for yourself, uh, friends, family, um, and you can take your artwork, um, photographs, illustrations, um, any that you like and put those on here. Um, it's just done through Printful and you can, if you don't already, you can sign up and get an account there and get those made. So um, pretty sweet. Let me just kind of show you what that is. It's a couple parameters <coughs> that they're specking out just to help you. Um, so this is the um, guide that they have, and it's a 19 by 19 file. Um, the resolution they're asking for is 150 DPI. I'm going to show you where to find that um, in Photoshop. And they're looking for a color, should be sRGB. Um, and they want to be have a PNG or a JPEG. Now, the PNG would be if you have a transparency, and that's going to print the white of the fabric, or you can print in white. Okay, so they can print white colors, so you don't have to worry about the white of the fabric reversing, or just a general JPEG. <coughs> they can't guarantee exact placement because there's a little bit of shifting potentially in printing. So uh, they're really kind of good for overall images and such, but not if you want something exact. Um, you're gonna have to watch it or you're definitely gonna have to watch making sure you don't get too close to the outside so here is the print they're saying the safe area anything in here would be um should print fine and will be okay anything outside there could get cut or trimmed off or folded in and under um here are instructions for illustrator and or photoshop i'm going to recommend if you did this to do it in photoshop um simply because we're dealing with a png or, or jpeg at the end so um, 
I'm going to open up the template for you, show you what they have here. Um, you drop your file in, rename it, save it, and you're, you upload it to their site. And it's pretty, pretty simple there. So here is the file itself. So you can download from their website a template. Um, close it up here. So it's 1919. Again, turn these files off before you, um, uh, when you're finished. Okay, that'll be your layer over here. We'll turn that off. You can see that layer there. Um, I opened up a file. It's just a kind of a photograph of some sequoias at night. I'm going to copy that, Command A. Command C, again, I'm in Photoshop. <laughs> um, it says place your files here. I'm just gonna go Command V, place that in there. And then you can see I can move this around to get my positioning. And remember, anything within this dotted line is called the safe print area. I mean, it should print fine. Okay, anything outside could potentially be trimmed off a little bit. So if we were to do any kind of naming or wording or anything like that, we wanna make sure we're definitely within <laughs> the square itself so it will not get cut off um, it asks for a s um, srgb file color format so i want to show you where that is and we can check the uh, resolution also so for resolution uh, we can go to image size and we open it up and it's showing us it's pixels and we can do inches for 19 by 19 and we're resolution of 150, which is what they asked for. So we're at least 150. Um, it could be higher, um, but they're gonna print at 150 resolution. So make sure you're at 150. <coughs> so it doesn't get pixelated. Otherwise it will um, get pixelated. And the, 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 remember the squares are gonna get bigger. And we don't want that. So you can see there is a little bit of pixelation here. This is a nighttime photo. So there's a lot of, of uh, noise happening here. Um, but it is possible to do that and we're at 150. Um, and then ask for color modes. I want to show you in where to get the color mode. So in, in Photoshop to get the color mode, you go to edit and then color settings. And you're going to get this. Now what this is saying is what you are. So right now we're in a, um, RGB, we're in S RGB, which is what it asked for. So under there, you'll see a variety of different color modes, 99% um, of them you're never ever gonna use. But um, you may have, in this case, they asked for a specific, the, the sRGB. You may have a, a circumstance where a printer or a company asks for a certain color mode. Um, you're working on something for a magazine. Some kind of ad or image that's gonna be printed and they might ask for a specific um, color setting. And you can do that here, okay? So if they're asking for something specific, you can do that here. Many, many times um, the printers will come into your files and make these adjustments when they're gonna output to make them or to print your files out. So you don't have to worry about it. But in this case, the as the printer um, printful, they're asking to make sure it's an sRGB. And it probably should be, but again, this is where you double check it to make sure that we are <coughs> in a setting, click okay. So at this point, all I would have to do is turn off that guy, save this as my own name, and then I would upload this to my account and we're all ready to print this, okay? Um, so pretty simple, but again, a nice way that you can, um, you know, do something kind of cool. And um, I think you, you know, we're gonna be wearing masks for a while, regrettably, but you know, soon. So design yourself something nice, do it for a friend, nice thing. Um, make your statement, put your website on it, yeah, put some art out there, you never know. Um, so um, do that, and again, now they're saying about three weeks. Um, again, they can check back, and again, I would have to uh, verify on that, but if they're saying three weeks, it probably is up to three weeks. Demand has been high. Um, but again, they're nice, they're cool. And if you're getting tired of wearing your traditional mask, do this. And these will be good afterwards, right? Afterwards, you can wear these for staying cool out in the desert. You can pull these on and it gets dusty. They'll be good multipurpose. All right. Um, all right. 
questions at all, guys? So we kind of went through a little quick critique today. We just did a little quick thing on how to lay out the Gator file if you guys want to lay that out. And then um, any questions on the arcade? Okay. Um, can we draw? For, of course. Please draw inspiration from a TV or movie. <coughs> um, and, and feel free to, to quote, borrow some branding from it. You know, if you were to do a Star Wars one, I would expect you probably have a Star Wars logo in there. Um, and you can design the artwork and such yourself. So yes, by all means, feel free to take inspiration from a movie, TV, or existing video games. Um, yes, definitely. Okay. I've been, I've been playing Bubble Witch 3. Yeah, he plays kid games. With my daughter. It was his idea to get it. She's, she's still beating me, but I'm getting there. Nope, he's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all the questions for today. All right. Um, keep working on the project. Send me any files that you want me to take a look at beforehand. Um, we're looking to get the videos done by, uh, or the video arcade machines done by Thursday a week. Um, I think on this coming Thursday, I'm going to try to go through a little bit of um, uh, another program or two with you that we haven't done. Maybe I'll do a couple couple of lecture on InDesign or um, uh, something along that line. So <clears throat> just to kind of quick talk to get you guys going on a couple of the other programs that Adobe has that we didn't get to this semester, but you'll be getting to as you continue in your design world. All right. Um, so, anything else before we call it a good day for Tuesday? All right, guys. Have a great day. Good evening. Um, we'll see you Thursday. Um, and keep designing. All right. Take care. Bye bye.